Hello world! Welcome back to another Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber 2025 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Day 6 room, Malware Analysis, Executable. Let's get into it. So first things first, you're going to want to start up the box. You don't need to load an attack box for this one, you just need to start up the target machine. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and click check. And it should look like what I have over here on the right. Now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and move on to task two. And we're going to scroll all the way down to where the questions start. And we start off with some static analysis. What is the SHA-256 sum of the hophelper.exe? Well, what we're going to do is use PE Studio to statically analyze this file. And so we'll do file, open file, navigate to Hop Helper on your desktop here, and then double click Hop Helper here. And your SHA-256 hash should be the first value that shows up when the malware loads into PE Studio. So we'll just right click this and copy the value, paste it over here, click check. And we can move on to the next static analysis question. Within the strings of hophelper.exe, a flag with the format THM blah 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 exists. What is that flag value? Note, this can be found towards the bottom of the strings output. We can find our strings output over here on the left. Just select strings from right here. They said it was towards the bottom, but what we can do is we can just sort the values and then scroll to where we find capital T. It should be in alphabetical order to some extent. And there's T right there. So there is our flag right here. Strings found. We'll copy that value and paste it over here. All right, now we've finished up the static analysis and we can move on to dynamic analysis. What registry value has the hophelper.exe modified for persistence? Note, provide the full path of the key that has been modified. Okay, we can close PE Studio now. And what I want you to do first is go ahead and launch Procmon. That way it's capturing in the background as it'll be useful for later. And then what we're gonna do is run RegShot right here. And what this is gonna do is allow us to take snapshots of the registry and compare them. We're gonna take our first shot prior to running the malware. And this is gonna take a little time, so I'll skip to when this finishes. Once that's finished, I want you to open up the Hop Helper directory on the desktop and go ahead and double click the Hop Helper executable to run it. Once it's finished executing, it'll pop up with a message here that says King Malhair sends his regards. Just click OK or exit out of that. And you'll know the malware ran successfully because you'll see that all your executable files or the shortcut icons to them have changed into eggs. So now that the malware has finished executing, we can take our second registry shot here. And this is also going to take a little time, so I'll skip to when this finishes as well. Once that's finished, you can click compare here. And this will also take a little bit of time, so I'll go ahead and skip this part as well. Once that's finished, it opens up this results text file that shows you all of the keys that were added and deleted between the two registry shots. Now we wanna look for a key that's been modified for persistence. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a standard control F here, and we're gonna look for hop helper. We're gonna click find next. This is our first result here that does not look like a persistence type registry key. So we'll click find next again. Once again, this one doesn't look like one either. We'll go find next again. Ah, here we go. A lot of the times when a piece of malware wants to maintain persistence, it'll add its executable path or whatever to the Windows current version run key. And what that's going to do is allow it to execute upon system startup. So all we really need is the full path of the key. We do not need the value itself, which is this right here. So what we're going to do is do shift home, copy that, and then paste it here in this blank and click check. Now we can move on to our next dynamic analysis question. Filter the output of Procmon for TCP operations. What network protocol is Hop Helper using to communicate? Make sure to have executed hophelper.exe while Procmon was open and capturing events. 
Now you know why we went ahead and opened Procmon before we did Regshot and ran the malware. So let's close this and this and this. And we're going to go ahead and launch Procmon. And as the file name suggests, this is just a process monitor. And oh, I already have it open. That's right. I literally just said that. So I'm going to go ahead and unminimize the Procmon window that we had open earlier. And we need to filter for TCP operations. So we're going to do filter, filter, operation contains TCP, add, apply. And this might take a while since we've had processes running for a minute while we were doing the whole reg shot thing. So just give it a little time and I'll skip to when this finishes. Once that's finished, you can just click OK. And you can see all the TCP events here. Now, if we scroll down, we should find a couple of entries that look like this with a very common port that attackers use to communicate with their C2 server. So HTTP is going to be the answer to our question. And these are the entries that you want to look at when examining the TCP connections that are being sent from our malware. So let's go ahead and type in HTTP as our answer. Click check. And you can do the bonus question here if you want to. We're going to go ahead and skip that. So click check again. And then just click check here. And that should complete the room. All right. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.